Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Quick question for you. Have you ever procrastinated? I have. <laughs> so if you can relate to this, definitely let me know in the comments below, but that is why I am sharing my top tips today for how to stop procrastinating and get work done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cue that intro and let's get straight down to business. All right, so the first step to stop procrastinating is acknowledging what it actually is, which is resistance. What are you resisting? Ask yourself this question and decide what it is that's holding you back from actually just taking the action and doing it immediately. Maybe there's an end result that we're worried about. Maybe we're scared of what is going to happen if we accomplish this task or how difficult it might be to actually do this task. Maybe it's something like business prospecting. I know all about that, reaching out to people, trying to talk to businesses, people who you might want to share your product with. And that can be very difficult because you know that there's a possibility that the person may not be interested. And that isn't a great feeling. We all know that. So something like that is what you need to evaluate and ask yourself, why aren't you just going for it? What's holding you back? What is the resistance? And how can you tackle and get over the resistance? How can you overcome that? Because that is a major step towards getting things done. If you can simply overcome whatever fear it is that's holding you from just taking care of whatever it is you need to do. Perhaps we actually need to detach from that end goal and just focus on the action itself. Really the short and easy answer to this entire question of how to stop procrastinating is to take action. And I know that that's like, duh, like everybody knows that, but it's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm going to share some tips with you now on how to actually take that step. The best way to start tackling whatever project it is that needs to get done is to break it into smaller pieces. I like to think of it as bite-sized pieces, bite-sized chunks, whatever it is that you know that you can do. If you can take one piece of the puzzle at a time, this can definitely help. Let's say that I want to tackle my entire closet because it is a mess and I need to reorganize it and go through the drawers and get rid of a ton of things and donate and sort and take out things that don't fit. I mean, there's a lot that goes into that process, but it's a lot to think I want to do that all in one day. No way. So instead I tell myself, I think I could do this if I go one drawer at a time. I'll do one drawer on Monday. I'll do one drawer on Tuesday. I'll go through a certain area on Wednesday. You know, whatever it is, dedicate bite-sized pieces to different parts of your schedule. And that way, you know that that is what you're dedicated to getting done that day. And you don't have to worry about the rest until the next day. At least you're making progress. Oftentimes these baby steps can snowball into large momentum and you actually want to keep going because you get in the zone. And so to start you out, not only do I recommend taking baby steps, but actually break down times in your schedule that you're going to do this, schedule it when you write it down and commit to yourself that you're going to actually make a certain step in this process happen. It will get you to show up and hold yourself accountable for getting the process started and then set a time limit for yourself. If you set a time limit and you say, okay, I'm only going to work on it for one hour or maybe less, maybe it's only 30 minutes that you're going to attack whatever it is that you need to get done. And then say at the end of that time, I am going to stop and I'm going to move on to something else. And that's totally okay. I will leave it as is and I will move on. That is totally acceptable as well, because then you know you're committed to just that certain amount of time and it doesn't seem overwhelming at all. But keep in mind that you might actually get into the zone once you start. It might not be as hard as we think it is. So let yourself build up that momentum and keep in mind that if you feel like you want to keep going at the end of that timer, then you can. You could go all day. I could start with that one drawer of my closet and then I could end up doing the entire thing if I have time. <laughs> but you know, just the main thing is that I started and you get it going and you have a step that you know will take you to the next step. Other ways to get started if you're not interested in doing whatever the task is, let's say you're tired and feeling unmotivated and you just don't know where to start, maybe set the mood for yourself or set the zone. Make a dish for yourself to eat while you're working on it. Make a drink for yourself or whatever it is. 
dress the part, you know, get dressed, feel like you have energy, even if you don't. Just try to do something that will put you in the zone. Listen to upbeat music while you're working or some kind of music that gets you in the zone, whatever that may be. Now, don't go overboard and start procrastinating more because, oh, you can't work until you have a snack or you can't work till you get dressed or you can't work until you put on music. Don't make it contingent on that. But I'm just saying, if you can do a couple little things to just get yourself, maybe you need a glass of water to just sit next to your computer so that you'll sit there and know that you're not gonna get up, you know, go to the restroom before you get started, whatever it is that's gonna get you like, okay, I'm ready, start. Those are things that you can also do to just help set the mood for yourself to feel like you're ready to take that action and to help establish your space. My next tip is give yourself rewards. Reward yourself for actually doing the work because you know that it's not easy, obviously, otherwise it would already be done. So you should totally reward yourself and tell yourself that you're amazing. Give yourself whatever type of reward it is that you think you deserve at the end of your 30 minutes for tackling whatever it is that you've done. Maybe it's eating something that you don't usually eat, or maybe it's taking a 30 minute break to watch your favorite show or something like that. Do that once you reach the end of your first baby step, if you feel like you don't wanna keep going until the next day. Just whatever it is, reward yourself because it is worth that extra pat on the back, whatever it may be, because you've taken a first step and congratulate yourself. One thing I actually used to do as a kid, I was never a big reader, but reading my homework wasn't super fun. I used to place little Skittles or M&Ms at the end of each page. So it would be like, once I reach the end of that paragraph, I get to eat that Skittle. You know, this just something simple like that could also be something that can motivate you. I mean, hey, it worked for me as a kid. It probably could work as an adult. You never know, give it a try. It doesn't have to be Skittles or M&Ms, by the way, you know, whatever works for you. <laughs> My next tip is doing the hardest thing first. I know this is also hard, obviously, because it's the hardest thing, but like get up in the morning and try to tackle the hardest thing first. If there's something you know that you need to accomplish that day and you're gonna push yourself to the very end of the day to get it done, don't do that to yourself because then all day you're gonna be thinking about it and thinking about how it still needs to get done and you're just gonna stress yourself out and put more pressure on yourself. So physically let the stress off of yourself by doing the hardest thing first. And for me, oftentimes it's like getting up and going to the gym. I know that as a busy mom to twin babies, I don't have time or motivation to do anything hardly in the evening because by the time the evening rolls around, I am just like done for the day. I just wanna relax, put the girls to bed and go to bed myself. But if I work out first thing in the morning, like I get up before my babies wake up, I try to like sneak out without waking up the whole house. This is something that I know I can accomplish because I just get myself going first thing in the morning. It's hard to be motivated in the morning. I've got a whole nother video about that. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it above. But the thing is, if you can just put that thing first in your schedule, then you will be committed to getting up and just, like I said, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. Just go and do it and you don't have any excuses in the morning because you've just woken up and the only excuse is you're not awake. So if you can just get yourself to snap out of your sleeping zone and wake up, you know, music, whatever it may be to get you up, then take that action first. And then you'll feel a weight lifted off your shoulders the whole rest of the day. Not to mention the whole rest of the day, you'll be like, I already accomplished something. What is everybody else got going on, huh? <laughs> Okay, my next tip is something I kind of touched on earlier, but just actually putting it in a time block in your schedule, in your calendar. So if you have a busy calendar and you're the kind of person that makes plans and writes things down and keeps things organized in a planner, I'm totally that kind of person. Like I plan hour to hour whenever I'm meeting with somebody or I'm going somewhere. It's just really nice to know what I'm expected to do and who I'm supposed to meet at what time. So if you're that kind of person, plan around it. You'll set yourself up for success if you can actually put it in your calendar and then tell people, sorry, I am not available from nine to 10 whenever, you know, like I, that hour is for something I'm working on so I can meet you before that or after that you know work around it if you can put it in your calendar you're already going to hold yourself more accountable versus if somebody says hey want to go grab lunch during the time that you already anticipated to do your project you know it's tempting obviously to go and do something else when you've already procrastinated something but hold yourself to it say sorry I've got something on my schedule already easy okay and then tackle it and then move on Okay guys, this is my very last tip, 
start. <laughs> Stop looking at videos on how to not procrastinate because obviously you're motivated to do something if you're looking up how to actually do it, right? So, okay. Hey, yeah. <laughs> go take care of business. Seriously, go get them, Tiger. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye. Good luck. <laughs>